Imagine a world where the battle lines are drawn not on physical grounds, but in the realm of sound waves and spoken words. This is the story of the podcast war, a war that shook the very foundations of the podcasting industry and its reverberations continue to echo even today. Our tale begins in the bustling world of podcasting, where Daniel Sandy, the Sandman, a renowned podcaster, finds himself pitted against another formidable podcaster from a rival newspaper. The stakes, podcast views, the lifeblood of a podcaster's existence. As the battle for listenership intensifies, the rival podcaster faces an ultimatum from his boss. Escalate the ratings or face unemployment. The tension is palpable. The war of words is not merely about views anymore. It's about survival, about livelihoods hanging by a thread. In the midst of this escalating conflict, Sandy's life is threatened. The podcast war takes a dangerous turn, morphing from a battle for listeners into a fight for survival. The stakes have never been higher. Enter Blake and Lance, Sandy's loyal comrades, ready to stand by his side in this tumultuous war. They rally around Sandy, lending their voices to his podcast, bolstering his defense against the escalating attacks. The day of the podcast arrives. Sandy, Blake, and Lance are on air. Their voices resonating through countless speakers reaching out to their audience. But then, an attack. The podcast is disrupted. The airwaves are filled with static. The voices are silenced. But this is not the end of our story. In fact, it marks a new chapter. The attack, while disruptive, only fuels Sandy and his team's resolve. They regroup, strategize, and return stronger than before. The podcast war rages on, but now it's about more than just views. It's about resilience, about standing up against threats, about the power of the spoken word. The podcast war has left an indelible mark on the industry. It's a testament to the lengths people will go to protect their craft, their livelihoods. It's a stark reminder of the power of competition, the dangers it can escalate to, and the resilience it can inspire. In this war, there were no clear victors, only survivors. Sandy, Blake, Lance, even the rival podcaster, they all bore the brunt of this war and came out stronger. Their podcasts continue to echo in the airwaves, their stories continue to inspire, and their war continues to serve as a cautionary tale for the podcasting world. Remember, in the world of podcasting, it's not just about views. It's about the power of voice, the strength of words, and the resilience of spirit. This is the story of the podcast war, a war that redefined the podcasting landscape forever.